hello everyone so today I am going to work on uh, saving and loading the inventory items so now in my inventory I have this fruit increases food level by 2 so if I drop or consume this item let's drop it so I don't have anything in the inventory now right now if I go here and sleep now it saves the games that's the way I have implemented this so right now the game is saved so if I play the game again and if I open the inventory now there is nothing in the inventory because I didn't have when I sleep so saving and loading the inventory items that's what I'm going to do today and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for this you guys are giving me right so so far we have implemented this in our inventory system when I press I I can open the inventory system and if I select this piece of meat and if I consume and go back so now actually it's we have uh, a way to save uh, that con that I drop or consume that part uh, that item and it's persistent for the gameplay but if I stop the game and if I start again you can see it's not it has not been saved because I still have it and when I go here and if I sleep my game does save but still it saves only this uh, health data and everything and these things it so here if I wake up oh sorry uh, so if I wake up uh, if I start playing again now this is still there right now we need a way to save those changes so let's see let's take a look at this save function which I have implemented right so I have implemented save game in my game instance that's why I call it with this game I have called it with this BPI game instance interface which I have implemented this save game in the game instance so now let's see yeah here is the game instance and here is the save game function right now I save it in this character properties save game class let's see what do we have here right so these are the things available in this save game type health hydration level hunger level and the checkpoint number and the player transform so which is used to spawn the player next time the game is load in the previous position where the player was when we save the game so we don't have anything related to our inventory here right now let's take a look at this inventory component and see what are the things that we need to um, save so we have these items and well actually I have just manually added it in this begin play event so I'm not I don't think we can
uh, save this array as it is because I'm not sure how does this references and icons uh, I'm not sure if that I can save those references into the save game object uh, but anyway let's see what happens if I just save this items array items and the type is resource data and it has to be an array okay right compile now when we save the game we get the player and we get this checkpoint and all other properties Mm -hmm. right let's take a look at this get character properties function which we have implemented in the character yeah it's like this here let's set items also with this uh, oh, we have the inventory component yeah we can get items from that like this okay now we have these things in the inventory let's go here and save the game game saved right now in the inventory I'll remove this part which I manually add these uh, two items to the inventory component because previously I didn't have any save or load system for this so I'll just break this and when we load the game um, yeah, uh, it's the game load function. So yeah, we set the character properties. And how do we use these character properties? Oh, like this get saved data I think I'm using this inside my character let's see yeah when I initialize character data I get the saved data so here I can get items and get the inventory and set items okay oh I need to connect this right now let's see what happens oh now we have these two items 
right now let's drop this word and let's save again if the system is working properly then we should not have water when we open the game next time right I closed the game now let's play it again okay and let's open the inventory cool water is gone so yeah so just like this that so it's not as hard as I thought maybe I thought we can't save those image references and other stuff and we save this save the game but it is working it seems okay let's consume this so now we'll help my food buy is filled like this and let's save again all right close the game and play again see my food buy is filled now, now I think I don't have anything in the inventory cool right so okay so that's how we implement save and load into the inventory of the inventory um right all right so we can stop this episode here and in the next ep next episode i'll create a way to like uh, pick up some water or pick up some meat or fruit or whatever so pick up items so when we pick those items so maybe pick up some fruit here when we pick those items those items will be in my save to my inventory and they will appear in my inventory and when i go here and sleep so those picked up items will be saved and when i exit the game and start again those collected items will be there so that's basically what i want to do in the next episode and thanks for watching so if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club link would be in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye